Three Ways Imposter Syndrome Can Impact Your Career In this presentation, I'm going to be showing you something that you hopefully already know. Imposter syndrome can have a few negative impacts on your career. Not everyone agrees with that assessment, however. These days, there is a cultural acceptance of the brooding, success-driven individual who bullies themselves to accomplish great things. Imposter syndrome is, as its name applies, an affliction. And if you have any doubts to that effect, then I have prepared for you a list of three ways imposter syndrome can impact your career. 1. It makes downtime into a high-stakes struggle. One of the defining symptoms of imposter syndrome is the repeated urge to always be working. This is pervasive in American culture, where extractive capitalism has convinced many people that the only way to live is to maximize efficiency and constantly increase one's value in the economy. Few things will convince a person that this is not true, but that is not what I am trying to do. All I am trying to point out is the obvious drawback. If you value work over all else, up to and including your own pleasure, safety, and health, then it will be impossible to relax. Sufferers of imposter syndrome feel as though if they are not always working, then how can they call themselves productive? There will eventually be times when they're sleeping, or eating, or bathing, or spending time with their children. Aren't they stealing from the economy when they're doing those things? This viewpoint presumes that all your worth belongs to the economy to begin with, and you have to justify your existence by working to pay off that invisible debt. This line of thinking will impact your career by turning it into a tide that slowly withers you away. 2. Socializing becomes difficult. It is hard to socialize when you have imposter syndrome. Imposter syndrome is usually the result of a person treating their self-worth as the domain of some cold, unsympathetic future version of themselves that knows neither pity nor patience. For a person with imposter syndrome to socialize, they have to quiet that voice. This is already bad enough, but the worst part is that many sufferers of imposter syndrome think their problems could be solved if only they could become that future version of themselves. And the thing is, living constantly in fear of your own self-criticism is already going to make socializing hard. But were you to actually become the all-powerful god of productivity you imagine you could be if you just buckled down and worked harder, then you would likely become a jerk in the process. Since the defining feature of that future self is their impatience, Becoming that person will not make you more patient. 3. Intimacy becomes impossible. This is perhaps the most crippling aspect of imposter syndrome. Imposter syndrome has you constantly looking elsewhere for worth. It has you looking to productivity, to the future, to everywhere but where you are. How can you be close to someone if you can't be close to them? If you are constantly looking elsewhere, how can you be anywhere? How does this factor into your career? Well, if you're reading this, then I have news for you. You are a person. I don't mean to alarm you, but facts are facts. And people need intimacy. Not just with other people either. People need intimacy with their work, with their living space, with themselves. If you drift through life hoping for the future to deliver you happiness, you'll miss the happiness around you. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.